The 15 Best Supplements to Boost Your Immune System Right Now Written by Jillian Kabbalah, M.S., Road, Medically Reviewed by Sade Meeks, M.S., Road, Updated on April 19, 2021 An important note. No supplement will cure or prevent disease. With the 2019 COVID-19 pandemic, it's especially important to understand that no supplement, diet, or other lifestyle modification other than physical distancing, also known as social distancing, and proper hygiene practices can protect you from COVID-19. Currently, no research supports the use of any supplement to protect against COVID-19 specifically. Your immune system consists of a complex collection of cells, processes, and chemicals that constantly defends your body against invading pathogens, including viruses, toxins, and bacteria, one trusted source, two trusted source. Keeping your immune system healthy year-round is key to preventing infection and disease. Making healthy lifestyle choices by consuming nutritious foods and getting enough sleep and exercise are the most important ways to bolster your immune system. In addition, research has shown that supplementing with certain vitamins, minerals, herbs, and other substances can help improve immune response and potentially protect against illness. However, note that some supplements can interact with prescription or over-the-counter medications you're taking. Some may not be appropriate for people with certain health conditions. Be sure to talk with a healthcare professional before starting any supplements. Here are 15 supplements that are known for their immune-boosting potential. Share on Pinterest Mark Tran, Stocksy. 1. Vitamin D. Vitamin D is a fat-soluble nutrient essential to the health and functioning of your immune system. Vitamin D enhances the pathogen-fighting effects of monocytes and macrophages, white blood cells that are important parts of your immune defense, and decreases inflammation, which helps promote immune response, 3. Trusted Source. Many people are deficient in this important vitamin, which may negatively affect immune function. Low vitamin D levels are associated with an increased risk of upper respiratory tract infections, including influenza and allergic asthma, 4. Trusted Source. Some studies show that supplementing with vitamin D may improve immune response. Recent research suggests that taking this vitamin may protect against respiratory tract infections. In a 2019 review of randomized control studies in 11,321 people, supplementing with vitamin D significantly decreased the risk of respiratory infections in people deficient in this vitamin and lowered infection risk in those with adequate vitamin D levels, 5 trusted source. This suggests an overall protective effect. Other studies note that vitamin D supplements may improve response to antiviral treatments in people with certain infections, including hepatitis C and HIV, 6 trusted source, 7 trusted source, 8 trusted source. Depending on blood levels, anywhere from 1000 to 4000 IU of supplemental vitamin D per day is sufficient for most people, though those with more serious deficiencies often require much higher doses, 4 trusted source. Vitamin D has been highly researched in connection with COVID-19 because of its effect on the immune system. Studies have shown that vitamin D can expedite healing and stall inflammation in the respiratory system, 9 trusted source. In a recent rapid review study, it was concluded that more research is needed to recommend vitamin D supplementation for the prevention and treatment of COVID-19, 10. However, many professionals within the health and science community argue that supplementing with vitamin D is generally safe and could help protect individuals from the virus, 11 trusted source. Summary. Vitamin D is essential for immune function. Healthy levels of this vitamin may help lower your risk for respiratory infections. Supplements 101, Vitamin D. Supplements 101, Vitamin D2. Zinc Zinc is a mineral that's commonly added to supplements and other healthcare products like lozenges that are meant to boost your immune system. This is because zinc is essential for immune system function. Zinc is needed for immune cell development and communication and plays an important role in the inflammatory response. Zinc also specifically protects tissue barriers in the body and helps prevent foreign pathogens from entering, 12 trusted source. A deficiency in this nutrient significantly affects your immune system's ability to function properly, resulting in an increased risk of infection and disease, including pneumonia, 13 trusted source, 14 trusted source. According to research, 16% of all deep respiratory infections worldwide are due to zinc deficiency, 15 trusted source. 
Zinc deficiency affects around 2 billion people worldwide and is very common in older adults. Up to 30% of older adults are considered deficient in this nutrient, 16 trusted source. Zinc deficiency is relatively rare in North America and developed countries, 17 trusted source, 18 trusted source. Nevertheless, many individuals in the United States have marginal zinc deficiency related to intake or absorption. Older individuals are generally at an increased risk, 18 trusted source. Numerous studies reveal that zinc supplements may protect against respiratory tract infections like the common cold, 19 trusted source, 20 trusted source. What's more, supplementing with zinc may be beneficial for those who are already sick. In a 2019 study in 64 hospitalized children with acute lower respiratory tract infections, ALRIs, taking 30 mg of zinc per day decreased the total duration of infection and the duration of the hospital stay by an average of two days compared with a placebo group, 21 trusted source. Supplemental zinc may also help reduce the duration of the common cold, 22 trusted source. Additionally, zinc demonstrates antiviral activity, 23, 24 trusted source. Taking zinc long-term is typically safe for healthy adults, as long as the daily dose is under the set upper limit of 40 mg of elemental zinc, 13 trusted source, trusted source. Excessive doses may interfere with copper absorption, which could increase your infection risk. Summary. Supplementing with zinc may help protect against respiratory tract infections and reduce the duration of these infections. Healthline event. Healthline. Mental health in focus. For Mental Health Awareness Month, join Taraji P. Henson, Jewel, Michelle Williams, and more in an honest conversation to bring the state of mental health into focus. Learn more. 3. Vitamin C Vitamin C is perhaps the most popular supplement taken to protect against infection due to its important role in immune health. This vitamin supports the function of various immune cells and enhances their ability to protect against infection. It's also necessary for cellular death, which helps keep your immune system healthy by clearing out old cells and replacing them with new ones, 25 trusted source, 26 trusted source. Vitamin C also functions as a powerful antioxidant, protecting against damage induced by oxidative stress, which occurs with the accumulation of reactive molecules known as free radicals. Oxidative stress can negatively affect immune health and is linked to numerous diseases, 27 trusted source. Supplementing with vitamin C has been shown to reduce the duration and severity of upper respiratory tract infections, including the common cold, 28 trusted source. A large review of 29 studies in 11,306 people demonstrated that regularly supplementing with vitamin C at an average dose of 1 to 2 grams per day reduced the duration of colds by 8% in adults and 14% in children, 29 trusted source. Interestingly, the review also demonstrated that regularly taking vitamin C supplements reduced common cold occurrence in individuals under high physical stress, including marathon runners and soldiers, by up to 50%. 29 trusted source, 30 trusted source. Additionally, high-dose intravenous vitamin C treatment has been shown to significantly improve symptoms in people with severe infections, including sepsis and acute respiratory distress syndrome, ARDS, resulting from viral infections, 31 trusted source. Still, other studies have suggested that the role of vitamin C in this setting is still under investigation, 32, 33 trusted source. All in all, these results confirm that vitamin C supplements may significantly affect immune health, especially in those who don't get enough of the vitamin through their diet. The upper limit for vitamin C is 2000 mg. Supplemental daily doses are typically between 250 and 1000 mg, 34 trusted source. Summary. Vitamin C is vital for immune health. Supplementing with this nutrient may help reduce the duration and severity of upper respiratory tract infections, including the common cold. 4. Elderberry Black Elderberry, Sambucus nigra, which has long been used to treat infections, is being researched for its effects on immune health. In test tube studies, elderberry extract demonstrates potent antibacterial and antiviral potential against bacterial pathogens responsible for upper respiratory tract infections and strains of the influenza virus 35 trusted source 36 
What's more, it has been shown to enhance immune system response and may help shorten the duration and severity of colds as well as reduce symptoms related to viral infections, 37 trusted source, 38 trusted source. A review of four randomized control studies in 180 people found that elderberry supplements significantly reduced upper respiratory symptoms caused by viral infections, 39 trusted source. An older, five-day study from 2004 demonstrated that people with the flu who supplemented with one tablespoon, 15 milliliters, of elderberry syrup four times a day experienced symptom relief four days earlier than those who didn't take the syrup and were less reliant on medication, 40. However, this study is outdated and was sponsored by the elderberry syrup manufacturer, which may have skewed results, 40. Though it has been suggested that elderberry can help relieve symptoms of certain infections and the influenza virus, we also must be aware of the risks. Some report that elderberries can lead to the production of excess cytokines, which could potentially damage healthy cells, 41 trusted source. For that reason, some researchers recommend elderberry supplements only be used in the early course of COVID-19, 41 trusted source. It should be noted no published research studies have evaluated the use of elderberry for COVID-19, 42. These recommendations are based on previous research done on elderberries. A systemic review of elderberry, 43, concluded. In laboratory animal and human research, elderberry had antiviral effects, Inhibiting several strains of influenza A and B raw elderberries must be cooked to avoid the risk of nausea, vomiting, or cyanide toxicity. Elderberry should be used under the direction of a qualified healthcare professional. Elderberry supplements are most often sold in liquid or capsule form, 